Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Monday, March 30th, 2020. I am Deacon Dennis Holly of Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Let us take a moment in silence to recognize and, and center ourselves to God's presence. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 29, a tribute of praise to the Word of God. O give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters. The Lord on the immensity of waters. The voice of the Lord full of power. The voice of the Lord full of splendor. The Lord's voice shattering the cedars. The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf and the Sirion like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire. The Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders. In his temple, they all cry, Glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading from this morning is taken from Jeremiah. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Who is powerful in your life? How does that person impress you? Power can be impressive. Physical prowess can gain one fame. Financial might can affect environments, even cultures, depending upon money flows. Political capital can stimulate support and create legal change. Power can awe us, even inspire us to move in its direction. Who has the most power? Of course, God, the one we call the Almighty. One of the reasons God deserves praise is because of his vast power. Our psalm this morning, Psalm 29, stands as a testament to our need to honor the most powerful being in our lives. It calls the faithful to worship, then gives the reason to worship. God's power. It ends with a hope God will act with power in the life of the people to give them strength and peace. In the mind of an ancient arid culture, the Jews perceived the power of God through the violence of a sudden rainstorm. 
and the desert environment divided by mountains and deep valleys. Rising heat can clash with moist air from the sea to create almost instantaneous storms. Winds blow clouds against the mountains. The rains come and swell dry riverbeds into floods at a moment's notice. Then are driven away by the same winds that brought the clouds in the first place. Lightning and thunder accompany these storms. The flashes of light and the boom of the thunder clap. The destructive nature of water torrents. These wonders speak to the heart of the desert dweller. The sun that bakes day after day is now hidden, replaced by the destruction of the sudden monsoon. It was natural then for the believer to see the voice of God in the thunder, the power of God in the lightning that can destroy, and in the control of the waters in the flood. The destructive power of these storms impressed King David, the ancient ascribed author of the psalm. But he never confused the storm itself with the one who controlled the storm. God spoke through the storm and caused change, but according to his will. Power can be impressive, but the power of God creates awe. He deserves praise for his power and for the assurance that he will use his power for our good. But ultimately, he deserves praise because he uses that power to bless us with strength and peace. During these very challenging times of COVID-19, how does God show his power in your life? How are you awed by his power? Our antiphon this morning is, Susanna was saved from the lies of false witnesses. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The response to our intercessions this morning is, Show us mercy, O God. Loving God, you fill our life with good things. With grateful hearts we pray. Show us Mercy, O oh God. Renew the spirits of those who are exhausted, discouraged, or troubled. With grateful hearts we pray. Show us mercy, O oh God. Inspire efforts to cultivate cures and immunizations for contagious disease, especially COVID-19. With grateful hearts we pray. Show us mercy, O oh God. Sensitize us to the rhythms and patterns of the natural world and kindle in us a deep care for all of God's creation. With grateful hearts we pray, 
Show us mercy, O God. At the Savior's command and formed by divine action, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And our closing prayer, a prayer amid an epidemic. Jesus Christ, you travel through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. At your command, the sick were made well. Come to our aid now in the midst of the global spread of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they regain their strength and health through quality medical care. Heal us from our fear, which prevents nations from working together and neighbors from helping one another. Heal us from our pride, which can make us claim invulnerability to a disease that knows no borders. Jesus Christ, healer of all, stay by our side in this time of uncertainty and sorrow. Be with those who have died from the virus. May they be at rest with you in your eternal peace. Be with the families of those who are sick or who have died as they worry and grieve. Defend them from illness and despair. May they know your peace. Be with the doctors, nurses, researchers, and all medical professionals who seek to heal and help those affected and who put themselves at risk in the process. May they know your protection and peace. Be with the leaders of all the nations. Give them the foresight to act with charity and true concern for the well-being of the people they are meant to serve. Give them the wisdom to invest in long-term solutions that will help prepare for or prevent future outbreaks. May they know your peace as they work together to achieve it on earth. Whether we are home or abroad, surrounded by many people suffering from this illness, are only a few. Jesus Christ, stay with us as we endure and mourn, persist and prepare. In the place of our anxiety, give us peace. Jesus Christ, heal us. May God lead us from death to life, from falsehood to truth, from darkness to light. In Jesus, our peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day. Take care of yourself and others.